Here is an explanation for the answer to final exam question number 80 in Electronics Demystified 2nd Edition. If you have the printed book, you'll find this question at the top of page 435. The question is rather lengthy. It, it goes on and on and on describing exactly what we're doing. If you'll go back to chapter 10, you will find a block diagram of this particular scheme that's described in this question known as diversity reception or dual diversity reception dual d-u-a-l in this case because there are two receivers so the correct answer to this particular question is e diversity reception well we can understand a little more about how this works. If we consider shortwave radio frequencies, those are roughly the band of 3 to 30 megahertz. Shortwave, also technically known as the high frequencies. It uh, got the wavelengths aren't particularly short. They range from roughly 10 meters in free space here to 100 meters there. The frequencies aren't particularly high either, but these uh, signals, these short wave uh, radio signals, got their name back in the day when 3 to 30 megahertz really was a high frequency and the wavelengths really were a lot shorter than most of the wavelengths used. This was way back in the early part of the 20th century when uh, they were first working with radio and discovering how it worked. A very interesting story goes behind that. If you go to this website, you might find one of their publications uh, back in the olden days of radio, they have some historical publications, www.arrl.org, that's American Radio Relay League, the American organization of ham radio operators. Uh, ham radio operators were the first ones to use the short waves and discover that they actually worked even better than the longer wavelengths. And back in those days, too, just a little bit of a story for you. It was kind of like the Internet, kind of like the Wild West, unregulated. Then they regulated everything, and now the radio waves, the air waves, as they're called, are highly regulated by the Federal Communications Commission in the United States, unlike the Internet, which is a still like the Wild West. Anyway, what we have here is two antennas separated by... 5 to 10 wavelengths and at short wave or high frequency that's that can be quite a ways if you're at a hundred meters for example then five wavelengths is 500 meters and 10 wavelengths is a full kilometer apart at uh, 10 meters 30 megahertz you'd be between 50 and 100 meters apart but the fact that these antennas are located at considerable distances from each other in physical space they're receiving the very same signal but they're in a slightly different location and the fact that they're in that slightly different location greatly reduces one of the worst problems that we will encounter on the shortwave radio bands and that is signal fading particularly signals propagated via the ionosphere as they often are propagated at short waves. So again, the correct answer to this question is choice E. We're dealing here with diversity reception. Two receivers combined into one.